who brings all these eminent speakers here today is Mr. R. Suresh. <laughs> I invite him now to talk a bit about GOAT and about today's topic and speakers. He also conceived the idea of GOAT to foster peer learning and celebrate each other here at the club. Mr. R. Suresh. Good evening, friends. Uh, thank you very much, Vinita, for uh, the introductions and setting the evening motion in place. It was, it's really a fabulous day, fabulous evening. And I, we can't get bigger, better, brighter than what we have today out here. Isn't it? Great audience. First of all, great audience. Each one specialized, highly, highly accomplished people and the lineup of the speakers. Just a stat for the statistical minded. Between the four of them, they have managed companies worth more than 100 billion US dollars. OK, for, for starters. For starters. And one of them, all the four tall people, one of them is figuratively and literally tall as well. <laughs> no, no prizes for guessing who that is. He managed, uh, give or take, I think, close to 2 lakh crore of revenue. Give or take. And Dr. Pawan Goenka, Vinita, Mr. Pawan Goenka, Dr. Pawan Goenka, uh, managed, give or take, 1 lakh crore. I, I, I mean, this is like mind-boggling numbers. Uh, Sandeep Batra. Asset base of the bank he manages the corporate center of, uh, 250 billion US dollars. <laughs> yeah, billion US dollars. I don't know how many, 13, 14 zeros after 250, yeah. <laughs> and Prakash Jain, if you hear this, maybe you'll fall off the chair. He provides fail-proof cybersecurity for all the retail, corporate, institutional, banking, and finance, and payment transactions for the country by probably the leader. Some million transactions the company processes per second. <laughs> per second. Now, you know, somebody asked me, I, I don't remember exactly, but it's since the, the question was in the tennis court, so I don't remember that at all. They asked you, what is the common thread between bringing all these four together for an evening, other than the fact they're all tall people? The, this is the common thread, the scale, the complexity. How can they manage this gargantuan action portfolio in their lives and still stay calm? I mean, I've had personally the pleasure of working with them, not just being friendly, working with them. And, and there's so much takeaway. I thought the group, the larger group, should know certain insights and inner construct of how they do what they do or how, how did they do what they do or what they did, right? So these kind of things were always in my mind. So hence, the GOAT was constructed. So the construct of GOAT, uh, is based on the fact that the general camaraderie we have leads us to knowing people personally, and probably we know what the recreational pasture of each one of us is. I can make out who plays squash, and who plays tennis, and who's a gymmer, who's this, who's that. But on the professional side, we don't focus at all. So, you know, so professionally, we need to know them more, so we have this forum called GOAT. So GOAT is nothing but a kind of a, a, a twin or a duality. One is its greatest of all times because it's a sports acronym borrowed in various walks of life. Let it be there. GOAT is the greatest of all times. It suits well for some of the people that we are uh, uh, you know, blessed to have al alongside us. And GOAT also is a group. The group activity is emphasized. And the, another emphasis I need to provide here is, it is peer group. It's not hierarchical. 
There is nothing called, you know, once you are hierarchical, which is what our corporate functioning is, the learning from the other stops is impressing starts. So we, we want to dismantle that. We are a peer architecture. So anyone can put the hand on the back of the other and ask for it, and including all the four people who are speakers today, they're all members of the club. So we are in the peer environment, so it's a very free-flowing, hopefully, two-way environment. So that's the concept of GOAT. And last few minutes, so I've introduced them to you. Now I want to introduce you to them. A couple of them are frequenters to the club, so they obviously know. S some of them don't come as often. Uh, so you need to know the group is a very energetic, highly, highly accomplished, the right word is uh, eclectic group. We have solved most of the problems in the world. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the latest we've solved is, I think, the, the Ukrainian-Russian war is solved this morning. <laughs> this morning, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and some people have solved uh, the, the Tamil Nadu governor's ooster of the minister. And uh, there is everything we have solved. We even drafted the right speech for the prime minister in the White House. So this group can't get, you know, can't get to the uh, bottom. I mean, can get to the bottom of anything. So that's the cr cricket. I mean, there's one lone consultant who talks a little bit about cricket. So forget him. So without much ado, we would now hand over the forum to these four people. And this is the first time we had a puzzle to solve. We didn't know who to start with. So we didn't know that, because all four are just about you know, great people to hear first. Or it's not that when you speak last, you're not so great. But you know, it's, it was a puzzle. So we said, we'll draw the lot. And we have the lot here. And we're calling the youngest person in the, in the chamber today, Dr. Falgunisha, she's always young because she's a dermatologist. Uh, <laughs> so she comes and picks up the lot. And there's a, before that, there's one question we need to ask. Does she pick one now and after the first speaker does another one or all the f four now? All four? All, all three. Okay. Okay, Doc, go ahead. <laughs> this is excellent order. So we'll start with Prakash. It's a pleasure to invite you here. Great to be the first goat here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good, yeah, good 